Buenos días, ¿cómo están? Espero que todos estén muy bien. Good morning. How are you all? I hope you're doing well. Today we're going to talk about the verbs ser and estar. Here's the interesting thing about these verbs. Ser and estar both mean to be. So the Shakespearean quote everyone likes to use, to be or not to be, that is the question. English speaking learners of Spanish should ask, to be or to be, which one should I use, you know? <laughs> uh, you do use ser or a star depending on the situation you may be in. Let's just keep it simple and we'll talk about uh, the verb ser for today. But going into this, I want you to understand there's a difference and I want you to understand what the difference is. So here's a little rhyme a, a colleague of mine taught me from Burns High School representing back in the day. How you feel and where you are is when you use the verb estar. What you're like and where you're from is when you use the other one, ser. Okay, so let's expound upon that. How you feel and where you are. How you feel. If you are uh, tired, you're happy, you're sick, if you're sad, if you're um, glad, you know, how you feel, how you feel, use the verb of star and where you are. So uh, here's the question. Donde esta la mesa? Where is the table? Mm -hmm. La mesa está al lado de la puerta. The table is bes la puerta. The table is beside the door. We'll come back to that in the next chapter. What you're like and where you're from. So we've been working with this right here. What you're like. What you're like. We don't necessarily get to the where you're from part in Spanish 1. We start with that in Spanish 2. So let's do the what you're like. And that's answering the question, como eres, como eres. So you're familiar with the question, como estas? All right, so como estas? That means how are you? The response is, estoy bien, or you can say, estoy así, así. Como eres? This means, what are you like? What are you like? We're describing personalities. All right, so we also can deduct between chapters 1A and chapter 2B that someone's likes and interests will, will um, in, in many cases, determine or uh, describe their own personality, right? Which is why in the poster project you guys did, the poster project that you were assigned, you wrote sentences like this. Me gusta tocar la guitarra, like to play the guitar, and then you coupled it with a sentence like this. Soy talentoso, or if you're female, talentosa. Right? Me gusta tocar la guitarra. Soy talentosa or talentoso. Yep. Okay. So these are the verb conjugations for the verb ser. And again, just to back up a little bit, conjugating verbs, when we talk about conjugation, what that means is we are spelling all of the variations of a particular verb in a particular tense. The past, the present, and the future all walked into a bar at the same time. It was tense. It was tense. Yeah, it was tense. 
You made a lot of promises uh -oh. to the macho man, didn't you? Promises that you didn't keep. I'm back. Here's how we conjugate the verb share. Share means to be. You want to include the English translation beside the Spanish verb? That's fine, but you don't have to do that. So here we go. We're going to list the conjugations in order, making the house, and then putting the verbs, um, the, the different spellings of the verb in their particular rooms, just to review that. So we've got the yo form, the tu form, the tu form, uh, let's see, usted, el, and ella all share the same room, like the Big Bang Theory or friends. Nosotros. We also have the the vosotros form. Vosotros is only used in Spain. All right, ustedes. Ellos and ellas. Also, sorry, I forgot the feminine form here. Nosotras. Vosotras. Okay, good. Every language is a code. So, uh, oh, and when you switch back and forth from Spanish to English, <clears throat> you know, they, uh, they say that's called speaking in Spanglish. The, um, linguistic definition of that is actually called code switching code switching so i know we learn a lot about coding in computer uh, in uh, career technical education classes and other technology classes sometimes in calculus courses or statistics you might even go into a little bit of coding and did you know in spanish we do coding as well yes every language is called a code code. Now that we have all the rooms defined, we're going to list the verb forms. Okay. The yo form is soy. Yo soy. The yo form is soy. The tu form is eres. The usted, el, and ella form is es. The let's see. Nosotros and nosotras is somos. Vosotros and vosotras is sois. And ustedes, ellos, and ellas is son. Very good. So that's how you conjugate the verb ser. All right. On Canvas, you're going to have some example sentences. And I want you to refer back to this video and the lesson notes that I will leave in the announcements or uh, I'll, I'll have the lesson notes with the assignment and the sentences. So, you know, please watch the video first and then complete the assignment. If you have any questions, shoot me an email linked in this video right up there. And we'll go from there. Awesome, guys. It's been real. It's been fun. And it's been real fun. Peace.